Hello, good evening. Uy, wait a minute. <laughs> One second. Good evening. How you doing? Don't see your face. Yeah, you don't see my face, right? Yeah. <laughs> Give me one second. Where is that thing? The virtual thing. Okay, there you go. Better? Okay, now you can see my ugly face. Okay. How's it going, Ricardo? It's very good. It's been good. Awesome. awesome. Get out. Awesome. How's it going? <laughs> Hello, Gerardo. How's it going? All good? We're fine, teacher. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, man. Roberto, how's it going? He said super. He's on mute. He's on mute, yeah. Okay. okay. We got it. He said super. Okay. <laughs> Carlos, Charlie, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm doing good, teacher. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, guys, today we have to talk about the future. Future with going to and future with will. Okay, so we're going to go straight to that topic. We're going to talk about the uses of going to and the uses of will, which is very simple. I know you may have seen the you may have seen the uh, video already on the platform. We're gonna watch a little bit of it. We're just going to watch a little bit of the video to recall the information. Okay. Just one second. Okay. Let me share my screen with you so we can start and get into the topic, which is about the future. Okay. Yes. So, vamos a escuchar a una parte, no todo el video, okay? I'm going to stop it whenever we reach the structure, which I'm going to help you with, okay? So, let's get ready. Hay un audio al principio, necesito que le pongan mucha atención para que yo les haga unas preguntas después del audio, okay? So, let's do it. One, two, and three. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to talk about future plans. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay at my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present this structure. Oh, okay. So, questions. What is the audio about? What was the audio about? Excuse me, teacher. Repeat, uh, it's a please. Yes, what is the audio about, Carlos? Hmm? 
I'm asking you what is the what is about. Okay. They are talking about the for the vacation. Okay, about to take a vacation, to take a vacation, okay. Very good, repeat, talking. 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 There you go, talking. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, so where are they going? Where are they going to go? They're going to the beach. They're going to the beach. Very good. Excellent. But the other girl, uh, she is staying in their home. Okay. The other girl, she's staying in their home. The, their home. No. He, her. 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 Her house. Her home. Her house. Okay. Okay. Good. In her house. Okay. What? Are they going to do? What are they going to do? Fishing. They're gonna go fishing. Okay. okay. They're going and to surfer. And surfing. Okay. Yes. Perfect. What happens every day at five a.m. And she, oh, I don't know. And she going to relax uh, in the beach. Uh, hey, I'm um, going to fishing. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, they. They're going to the beach. They say it's. Huh? Yeah. What happens every day at 5 a.m.? They get, they get out, they get out. They go, there is a... There's a bus, okay? There is a bus that stops every day at five, she said. She said at five, I'm not sure, 5 p.m. or 5 a.m. But she said something, a bus, okay, at five. Okay, good listening, guys, good listening. Okay, let's talk about future. Let's talk about the future. This is very simple. Hello, Sonia, good evening, welcome. So let's see about the future. I will send you this uh, image after our class, okay? So pay attention. We have two forms of future, future tense. The first one is going to, okay? And the uses, let's talk about the uses of going to. We use going to to express future plans and to express predictions based on evidence. In other words, you are sure that that is going to happen. Es, ocupamos ese tiempo de going to para, para planes que estamos seguros que se van a llevar a cabo. Tienes el dinero, tienes todo listo ya, ya estás listo. Vamos. Okay. Y, y se traduce. Yo voy a ir a tal lugar. Ok. Ya vas. Ya te ves ahí. Te visualizas en el lugar al que vas a ir. En ese plan. Um, I am. Or she is going to eat. Ojo. Ella va a comer. Dos ejemplos. I am going to go to the beach. She is going to eat. Ok. Dos ejemplos. Contrastemos. Will, will is used to make promises. To make promises. I promise you. I promise you. I promise. To express a prediction. To express a prediction. In 2021, we are going to change the Congress. En 2021 vamos a cambiar la asamblea. Okay? That's a prediction. Okay? Hey, with no evidence. Ay, Ricardo de las Sillas. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding you. 
Ok, to express predictions with no evidence. Estás expresando una predicción sin evidencia. O sea, no es seguro que ocurra. Ese es el punto. Ok, to express spontaneous decisions. Ok, para expresar decisiones espontáneas. Así del momento, del sentir. Y cuando cumplís lo que expresas con sentimientos y decís, sí, yo te voy a amar. Te amaré toda la vida. Sí. Bueno. Ok. Y por eso cuando alguien se propone en las películas, han notado que dicen, will you marry me? Will you marry me? ¿Te casarás conmigo? Ok. Estás como en duda. Te voy a decir que sí o no. Ok. So, estamos claros con eso. Going to, for sure. It's going to happen. Will, mm, maybe not. Ok. So, vamos a hablar de la estructura. Let's talk about the structure, ok? First. With going to. Y lo voy a hacer en el, en el um, acá en Word de una sola vez para que. Igual le pueden ver esa imagen que está bien bonita. Ok. Let's see. Going to. First, we need a subject. Uh, let's go. Uh, Roberto, give me a subject. Any subject. Hi. Hi. Ok. Let's go with someone else here. Ricardo, give me the verb to be corresponding to I. Am. Um. Okay. And yes, I can say I am. Oh, I am. Or I can say am. 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 Sí, como una hamburguesa triple del Burger King. Ahorita am. Fritas. Am. Am. <laughs> Excelente. Very good. Sí, pero cerrar los labios, Gerardo. Um, okay, um, let's go. Uh, then we have the auxiliary, which is going, going to. to. Y regla, el verbo en su forma base, aquí no lleva así ng, no lleva así ed, no va en pasado participio, okay? So I'm going to, give me a verb, Carlos. A verb, an action. Work. I'm going to work. Ay, que negativo, bueno, bueno. Uh-huh, good. <laughs> it's okay. Gerardo, compliment. I'm going to work. This is a positive sentence. In Pizza Hut. At, at Pizza Hut. At Pizza Hut. Okay, traten de ocupar at cuando se habla de lugares de trabajo, eh? Si estás dentro de lugares, this is in Pizza Hut. Okay, good. Let's go with the negative. Let me see who else is here. Okay, Daniel Melendez, make it negative. Make the sentence negative. I'm not going to work at Pizza Hut. Perfect. I'm not, sé que, me parece que no, no debería aclarar esto, pero por si acaso, eh, yo no puedo contractuar el verbo to be con el not en, en la primera persona. Eh. Imagino que eso lo dijeron, ¿no? And, no existe esto, eh. I am not. Um, I am. No, no existe. Okay, so I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. Y todo el complemento sigue siendo el mismo. Okay, I'm not going to work at Pizza Hut. Perfect. Okay, let's go with the question. Um, Anthony, welcome. Uh... Yeah. Um, am I going to work at a Pizza Hut? At Pizza Hut. Very good. Excellent. Let's complicate our lives for a minute. Complicamos la vida por un minuto, okay? WH questions. I challenge you to make a WH question. Anybody? Can say that. What are you going? What are you going to work? Perfect. La WH busca información específica. Where are you going to work? Okay. Aquí ya no digo Pizza Hut porque esa sería la respuesta, ¿no? Y antes de continuar, ¿cómo contesto? Yes. Yes. Okay. M. O. No. I'm not. I'm not. Not perfect. Not yes, I am. No, I'm not. Okay, where are you going to work? Okay, at Pizza Hut. 
Y a la respuesta. ¿Quieren complicarse más la vida? Uh. Uh. ¿Alguien más? ¿Sonia? La Sonia casi no escucho hablar. Uh. Ah, Sandra, igual. Welcome, Sandra. Hello. Uh. Where are you? Eh, eh, Hello. Eh, 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 en... Teacher. Who's talking? Wait, who's talking? Ya, <laughs> 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 in, in this case, you can say, uh, where, where are you going to work? Who? Uh -uh. No. Who? Oh, with. With. Yeah. Is... Oh, okay. Can I? Huh? Where are you going? Where are you going to? Where are you going to work with? Uh, íbamos bien por ahí. El cerebro tiene esa respuesta. <laughs> Who are you going to go? Uh, sorry. Who are you going to work with? Perfect. With, uh, Bien, chicos. Eh, muy probablemente. Bueno, no sé si lo voy a volver a ver, pero investiguen este tema. El uso de preposiciones con palabras interrogativas en inglés. El uso de preposiciones con palabras interrogativas en inglés. Okay, or the use of prepositions with WH questions. The use of prepositions with WH questions. Typically, usualmente, typically, el who va a ir acompañado del with. ¿Sí? Y no les recomiendo ocupar el with al principio, porque sería demasiada traducción del español al inglés. With who are you going to work? ¿Sí? With who are you going to work? Mm, no. Where are you going to uh, work? Where uh, with? Uh, con where, con where se ocupa from. From. Uh, usualmente, puede ser si tiene sentido, ¿no? Mm. Where are you, o el from o el to. Where, porque where, from, to, dirección. From, to, mm -hmm. where, donde. Where are you going to go to? Okay, where are you going to go to? Y estás diciendo textualmente. Teacher. ¿Dónde vas a ir? Uh -huh. Yes, Sonia? Eh, no, me, Sandra. I mean, sorry, Sandra. Uh -huh. uh, in the, who are going to work, to work with? We oh. don't say you. Who yeah. are you going to work? Sorry, I missed the subject. Uh -huh to work ah. you're going to come pensé que ya no, lo ocupábamos ahí. no no sorry thank you no se ocupa en las terceras personas Sandra ya yeah. por ejemplo oh, who's going to come tomorrow who are you going to who are you going to work Mira, Sandra, el who. No, no, no perdón. Who, eh, perdón, Sandra, el, el um, who es el sujeto indefinido. Ajá. Igual que en el español. Ok. El sujeto Thank tácito. You. El sujeto tácito. Gracias, Anthony. Muchas gracias. Ok. Who's going to come tomorrow? Who is going to come tomorrow? Y ahí sí no ocupé el uh, sujeto, por, por si sí, who es el sujeto tácito, como lo cuentan. Entonces ya, ok, ok. Y ahí, continúen complicándose la vida con el WH, ok. What, si continúas con la misma pregunta arriba, where are you going to work? What, ¿cómo sería what? What are you going to work? Mm -hmm. what, are you go what are you going to work at the Pizza Hall? Mm -hmm. Puedo hacer varias preguntas con what. What are you going to do? Uh -huh. Very good. <laughs> okay. Oh, Anthony. What pizza hut are you uh, work? How are you going to work at? at. Okay. What pizza hut are you going to work at? In qué? Oye. In. 
It's more specific. It's more specific. Simple at WH, book on information específica. Very good. What pizza hut are you going to work at? In qué o en cuál pizza hut are you going to work at? Mm -hmm. Easy, right? So that's going to, guys. That's going to. Necesito que me digan si tienen alguna pregunta antes de movernos a Will. No? No. Okay. Remember, you can always make contractions and you should always use contractions when speaking uh, English, okay? So, um, he, let's his, see. His. It, you say, okay? His, she's, it's. it's. Hmm? So, how do you say, va a llover, Ricardo? Va a llover. Mm -hmm. It's going to it's... rain. Going to rain. Thank you, Ricardo. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> you, we, and they. Okay. Mm -hmm. Apostrophe R E. So, you're, we're there. You're, we're there. You're going to go to. Okay. Una aclaración más. Mm. Question, is this future? No. Why? I'm, I'm because uh, hmm? it's it action. It's action right now. In this case, the bird is go. Present progressive. There you go, Ricardo. That's true. This is present progressive. Be careful with this. I'm going to the beach. The future will be, I'm going to go to the beach. To the beach. I'm going to go to the beach. And the last thing, se lo voy a decir en inglés porque es muy importante, en español, um, esto es inglés informal, caliche. Okay? You can say, um, y reemplazar, gonna. Uh -huh, reemplazar el going to con gonna. Ese going to es gonna. Okay? Ahora, puedo agregar mil objetos después de eso. Es una, go. Yeah, es una manera de hablar un poco rápido, ¿no? This is, I'm gonna go to. Um, y con cuánto también se puede decir. What? <laughs> Anthony, what? <laughs> Cortaste, fíjate. Uh, Anthony, dale. Es que yo he visto que usan como, I'm gonna. Mm, sí, eso es el, el caliche que les estoy diciendo. Gona, gora, guana, guera. Todo eso es informal. No se ocupa en ambiente laboral, salvo que tengas una gran confianza con tu jefe, sea negro. ¿Ok? <risa> ok. <risa> okay. <risa> Siempre tuve la duda con ese gona. Thank you por aclararlo. <risa> You're welcome. See, okay, so wait, this is I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to the beach. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to. Then then I'm gonna go to church. And then I'm gonna go to school. And then I'm gonna go to. Gonna go to. Gonna go to. Gonna go to. Make it fácil. Gonna go to. Go to. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to. O, oh, I'm going to go to. El punto es que cuando una T está entre dos vocales, la T se convierte en R. Okay, go to, go to, go to, no me mueves la boca, go to, go to. Okay, going to go to that's the last point, okay? I'm going to go to the So again, informal, fast. formal. Y una observación más, a mí les toca hacer esto, solo en inglés escrito no se contractúa, okay? Mi recomendación y si sí, pues en un trabajo les toca estar escribiendo rápido, no contractúen. Aunque, aunque el hablante esté contractando, si es un documento lo que está redactando, no contractúen. Son todas sus contracciones. Si algún día, primero Dios, puedan aprender eso, pues les va a servir mucho. ¿Ok? Let's move on. Vamos a movernos. Recuerden que eso va a quedar grabado. So, lo pueden ver en, su, uh, en YouTube. ¿Ok? Let's go with Will. ¿Alguna pregunta? Yes, thank you. 
eh, por ejemplo, eh, no es necesario en este caso poner, por ejemplo, I am going to work at Pizza Hut tomorrow. O, correcto. O. Podés, Roberto, sí se puede, claro que sí. Agregar adverbios de tiempo. Porque podría decir, in a year, I'm going to work in Pizza Hut, at Pizza Hut, in a year, en un año. Or next weekend. Sí, se puede, al breve de tiempo. Puedes agregarnos al principio también. Ok. Tomorrow I'm going to start to work in at Pizza Hut. Ok. And so on. Perfect. Ok. Any other questions? Question, 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 question. No? Ok. Let's move. So, Will. Okay. Will. Si lo recuerdan, en las caricaturas antiguas de los Picos Piedra, por ejemplo, decía en el Testament, last will. Okay. La última voluntad. ¿Cuándo? Cuando has tenido voluntad de hacer algo, lo llevas a cabo. I will wake up at 4 a.m. tomorrow and exercise. <laughs> Every day you repeat this to yourself. It never happens. Right. So, will. No está seguro de qué va a ocurrir. Inseguridad, will. Seguridad, going to. Y repito, going to, yo voy a ir a comer. Ok. Will. Will agrega la partícula de en el español al verbo. ¿Cómo así? Ok. Say comer. 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 And then you say, comeré. No tengo tilde, sorry. Ok. Comer, comeré. Correr. Ajá, Richard. Correré. Correré. Ok. Hablar. Uh -huh. Hablaré. Will es un modal. No sé si ya vieron los modales, creo que sí. Would. Agrega la partícula ría al verbo. Esto es rápido, eh. Se nos salimos del guacán un rato. A ver. Come. Día. Corre. Día. Habla. Día. Con would. Eh. Would. Y es lo mismo. El mismo. La misma posición ocupa. Se convierte el mismo en el auxiliar. El will, el would, el should, could. Lo irán viendo. Oye, si ya lo vieron, pues qué bien. Entonces, volviendo a will. Repito, da la probabilidad al verbo a futuro. ¿Ok? Bien. ¿Cómo lo ocupo? So I go with a subject. Richard, give me a subject. Uh, she. Perfect. She. Ok. Let's go with will. And you have the auxiliary. She. Will. So, Sandra, a verb. A verb. Yes, please. Um, drink. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. okay. This weekend. This weekend. <laughs> ah, refresco, soda. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. She will drink this weekend. Okay. She didn't say. Ah, come on. Information. <laughs> She will drink this weekend. <laughs> if negative. Uh, Carlos. I'm just saying, teacher. Oh? <laughs> she she won't. She won't. Perfect. Bien, chicos. O digo will not. O digo won't. Wow. Nunca, jamás los dos juntos. Yo sé que ustedes son muy inteligentes y por no me les ocurra esto, pero tengo que aclararlo. So, this will not, this won't. So, she won't, es lo más común. Ok. She won't drink. Drink this weekend. Ok. And then, let's go with the question. Just like every, or the 90% of the grammar structures, to make a question, you bring the auxiliary to the beginning, and you move on. So let's go, Roberto. How do you make a question? Perfect. Will she? Mm -hmm. 
this weekend. Perfect. The compliment is always the same. So will she drink this weekend? Will she drink this weekend? And last, let's go with the dog age question. Let's complicate our lives. Daniel. Well, what? What? She will drink this weekend. The opposite. The auxiliary. What? What will, what will she drink this weekend? Perfect. What will she drink this weekend? A Coke, coffee, alcohol, whatever. Very good. Oh, one more thing. Close questions. Yes, you will. Or no, no, she won't. She won't. Okay. Les recuerdo, si ustedes hacen este ejercicio todos los días, positivo, negativo, pregunta, pregunta abierta, um, pues se les irá quedando poco a poco el sujeto, perdón, el auxiliar, que es muy importante identificarlo. Ok. El verbo. Ok. Siempre ocupe otro color diferente, preguntas, palabras nuevas, identifíquenlas, ok. Um, ocupen el símbolo que les decía, ¿no? Para señalar. Ok. Is this clear? Questions. Questions, questions. Ok. No questions? Okay, let's move. No? Okay, so let's go with how do you contract? How do you contract? You just add a double L to the subject. Okay, in. And then, okay. So, pronunciation. When you have an L, an L, your tongue goes backwards. And you say, uh, L, L, okay? So you say, I'll, I like to use, me gusta usar la fonética, I'll, I'll, corredor, I'll, same pronunciation. You can say you'll, you'll lie, you'll lie, you'll lie. Okay. Heal. Okay, you can say heal. Heal. Sonidos homófonos. Heal. Okay. Shield. 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 Now, it'll. Remember Italy. Si están diciendo Italy, no, es Italy. 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 Mm -hmm. Italy. Italy. Okay. Will. 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 Okay. Again, you. Arriba estaba. And last, Dale. Como el nombre en inglés. Dale. 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 Okay. I'll, you'll, he'll, she'll, it'll. Will Dale. I will kill chill ill will Dale. Okay, Richard, it'll it'll perfect. It'll it'll work. Oye? It'll work. Uh -huh. It will work. Funcionará. It will work. It'll work. It'll work. Super rapid. It'll work. Funcionará. It'll work. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Do you have any questions? Questions. Do you have any questions? Questions. Question. I don't have. Teacher. Yes. But this is an informal. Uh, we, we can use in the in the work or 
Oh, no, no, no. Serious conversation. Yes, you can use contractions anytime. Anytime. Sí, lo que les diga yo que es slang, que es, ojo, slang, eso es caliche. ¿Ok? Eso es caliche. Como le decimos en el español, slang. ¿Ok? Gonna, wanna, get a, fora. ¿Ok? Eso sí es caliche. Pero en, en will no existe eso. ¿Ok? No, he'll. ¿Ok? So, vamos a hacer un ejercicio súper rápido. Voy a ir uno por uno de ustedes. Y como tengo a Ricardo ahí de primero. Uh, let's go. Mm. Okay, translate please, Richard. Él te, él te dirá. She'll... She'll say. Like that? He'll. Oh, he'll. Okay. Uh, he'll say. He'll say. Hmm. Okay. Can somebody correct this sentence? Roberto, you are next on the line. So, is this correct, Roberto? Mm. Yes. Yes. yes? Daniel, what do you think, Daniel? If Sorry. we change the bird, tell you. He'll yeah, tell, right. tell you. He'll tell you. He'll tell you. Make it He'll tell you. He'll tell you. He'll tell you. Okay. Hmm. So, how would you say uh, this in English? Uh, let me go with who's next after Daniel, Anthony. Easy. She, she will hmm? talk. She will, she will talk. She, she, she will talk. She will talk. She will talk. She will talk. Okay. Talk. He'll tell you. So, oh my God. Okay. Uh, Sandra? Uh, they'll win. Perfect. Got it, guys. Very good. They'll win. Okay. Okay, Carlos. They'll. We'll. Do it. Let's do it. Dale, let's do it. Del. Del. Like that? Del. Is that what you said? Así dijiste, Carlos? Dale, let's do it. Sería. Will. Will. Let's do it. Will. Let's do it. Mm, let's see. Sonia, what do you think? Let's do it. They will do it. Sonia? They will do it. They will do it. Now let's. Pero hay siempre un mujer en Will. A ver, no. Eso está esperando que aterricemos si está bien o no la oración. We are used to going. We are going. Sonia, Sonia. Wait, wait, wait. Sonia, you can do it. <laughs> no? Okay, who has the answer? Who has the answer? Anthony? Will. Will? Will, let's do. Will, let's do? Will. No, in this case. No. In this case, it's going affirmation. Will, we're going to do. No. No, we, I, I'm lost. Teacher will we, do it. We are the going. Will. We are going, we are going to do. We, in this case, affirmation. We are going to do. We are going to do. We are going to do. Will. We are going to do. We are going to do. We are going to do it. Do it. We are going to do. What's going to happen? 
sí va a suceder, correcto. Nosotros vamos a suceder en español. Do it. Ok, Sandra, páseme esta oración a, en español a probabilidad, usando Will en español. Eh, <ríe> en español. Esperen, nosotros... ¿Cuál, Peter? Mira, ahorita me perdí, lo siento. Nosotros vamos a hacerlo como sería en futuro usando la probabilidad, no, no, no uh, la... Uh, will, will going to do... Pero en español. ¿Español? Oh, en español. Uh, nosotros lo, lo vamos lo, haría. lo haríamos. Nosotros lo haríamos. Nosotros, Ajá. nosotros lo haremos. Nosotros lo haremos. Nosotros lo haremos. Nosotros lo haríamos. Lo haremos. Lo haremos. Lo haremos. Ok. Excelente, muy bien. Me perdí más en español que en <risa> Excelente, muy bien. Esa es buena señal, Sonia. Sandra. <risa> Sandra. Es buena señal. Nosotros lo haremos. Y sí, sería Will do it. Bien, voy a seguir jugando con sus neuronas ahorita. Will do it. What are you going to do? We are going to do. We are going to do. Will. Will do it. No lo toleraremos. Uh -huh. What do you We... say toleraremos in English? Tolerar. No, tolerar. El verbo es tolerar. Let me see. We will... No, I don't know. Let me see. They went to Mexico. They went to Mexico and Mexicans couldn't sing the song. They went to Mexico and they couldn't sing the song. Tolerate? <laughs> no. uh, it's a song. It's a song. Support. Support. Tol <laughs> they, they made memes. They made memes about that situation. Because Mexicans were saying huevos con aceite. Eh, with oil. Huevos con aceite. Hello, huevos con aceite. Huevos con aceite. Anymore. And actually, the singer. You got it? Nobody? You don't get it? Okay, let me give you a clue. Take it. Take it. That's the verb. Take. And then the uh, object. It. Take it. I'm playing with one brain right now. We want. We all. Want. We want to do it. We want to do it. We want to do it. Okay. Do you give up? We want toleration. <laughs> <laughs> do you give up? No. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Sandra. We will not tolerate it. Ay, ¿cómo se dice eso? <laughs> I said take Pero it. Un sinónimo de, un sin, take it. Un sinónimo we, de tolerate. We'll we not won't. take it. Good, Sandra. Close. We're not gonna take it. Take it. We're not gonna take it. No. We ain't gonna take it. We're not gonna take it. <laughs> The name of the group was Twisted Sister. Twisted Sister. Okay. The same singer says, I want to rock, rock. I want to rock. You got it? Okay. Hey, American culture. American culture. That's very important. Okay, guys. So. Yes. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so the verb to tolerate, take it. Take it. Take it. Yeah. Another way of saying that is like if I say, um, I can take it anymore. 
I can't take it anymore. Ya no, ya no lo soporto, ya no aguanto esta situación, ok? I can deal with it. I can deal with it. Ojo, este it se puede reemplazar con él o ella, right? I can deal with her. I can deal with him. I can deal with my wife anymore. Okay. <laughs> y cae la cacerola. To you, teacher. <laughs> okay, can deal with it. Okay. Ahí viene atrás, teacher. Ahí viene atrás con la cacerola. She's busy right now. Okay, I can stand it. Another way, I can stand it anymore. I can stand it. Okay. I can't stand it. No lo soporto. Estoy diciendo lo mismo con diferentes um, expresiones muy utilizadas. Oh, sorry. Negative. Can't take it. I can't take it anymore. I can't deal with it. Can't stand it. Ahora, en afirmación, tenés que usar have. I have to deal with this. I have to deal with this. I have to deal with you. With, with it. Deal with it. Y ya de por sí solo, solo decir deal with it es lidiar con tal cosa. Eh, me dice Sandra, teacher, eh, mi, mi esposo es millonario, pero es borracho. Yeah, I can't take him anymore. Yo le diría, ok, deal with it. Deal with it. Así nada más. Deal with it. Deal with it. ¿Cómo decís en español? Socala, socala. Deal with it. Deal with it. Hazle frente, hazle frente. Hazle, ajá, hazle frente, dale. Piensa, piensa en la herencia. <laughs> Una situación donde no te queda otra salida. Deal with it. So we have to deal with coronavirus. Deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good guys. So I have a question for you. Let's move on. Okay. Quick question. The scenario. Let me give you the uh, scenario. 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 You have. $10,000 on your pocket to go on vacations, okay? To travel. So, where are you going? Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? Where are you going to? I'm going to Europa. Europe, thank you. Europe. Europe, and, love it. In travel, in, in, in train, how do you say train? train. By train, siempre que hablas de medios de transporte, who pass by. And travel by. by train, travel by bus, travel by, by, uh, by car. Okay, by car. perfect, Richard. Roberto, where are you going to go? By train. Uh, uh, I am going to go to, to USA. The USA. Remember, the USA. Very good. I'm going to go to the USA. Okay. Where specifically? Which city? New York, California. Perfect. Okay, Daniel, where are you going to go? You have $10,000. Maybe I will go to Europe. Mm. Mm. Okay. Be careful with that. Maybe I will go to Europe. Okay. Maybe I'll go to you. Maybe I'll go to I'll go to Europe. Maybe I will go to Europe. Okay. Europe. E Europe. You, Europe. Europe. You. Okay, uh, Richard. Europe. 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 There you go. The P. Anthony. 
Where are you going to go? If I have uh, $10,000, I'm going to the board at Thailand. Don't say if, okay? Okay. It's, a sh it's the scenario. You have $10,000, so I am going to... I'm going to travel board at Thailand. To Thailand, to Thailand. I'm going to yeah. travel to Thailand. Thailand, Thailand. Yeah, that's a beautiful place. Okay. Okay, Sandra. I'll see you. Where will you go? I will go to Venezia. Okay, why? Italy. Uh, Italy. I don't know. I think it's uh, a beautiful country and a beautiful city. Okay. What will you do there? I'm going to work with my husband. Oh, come on. $10,000 yeah. $10, for two? Nah. <laughs> yeah, we can do anything. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, Carlos, where will you go? You have $10,000 to travel. I will go to Las Vegas, teacher. Oh, to make my. more money. Perfect, <laughs> to make more money. What will you do there to make more money? I will go to play in the machine, in the machine. casino. No, casino, very machine. good. In the casino. Very good. So I will bet. You will bet. Very good. I okay. will bet. Sonia, what will you do? Where will you go with ten thousand dollars? I will go to Japan. Really? Why? What will you do there? <laughs> okay. What will you do in Japan? I like the cities. You like the cities? It's okay, so we'll go to the cities. Okay, guys, as you can see, it's very simple uh, to practice this. Les envié el link de la técnica just a minute, creo, ¿sí? Yes. ¿La vieron? ¿La vieron? It's good. Yeah, that's a good technique. Ahorita este nivel que ustedes hablan ya, Eh, mírenme acá la cámara, por favor. Le voy a tomar una foto rápido. One, two, three. There you go. Ok. Eh, ahorita que están ustedes en intermedio, ya es momento de que se suelten, que hablen, eh, que lo intenten. Yo eh, lo hacía, pero frente al espejo. Es importante que veas tus facciones. Y una recomendación, vuélvanse locos. O sea, a ti te han dicho hasta ahora que es de locos de estar hablando solo, ¿no? Si alguna vez me ves en el carro o caminando en la calle, vas a decir, hay un loco. Me vas a ir moviendo la boca y las manos. Y es porque es bueno que tú te pintes escenarios. Mi escenario favorito es estar parado enfrente de un auditorio dando alguna conversación sobre lo que sea. Y lo hago en español, lo hago en inglés. Entonces, es muy útil porque eso te ayuda a desarrollar el cerebro, a, a buscar más vocabulario, a forzarte a ti mismo. ¿Sí? Y ayer que estaba buscando eso de la técnica de Just a Minute, que en Inglaterra tienen ese juego, o tenían ese juego en el 2012, que se llamaba Just a Minute. Qué yuca los ingleses. O sea, hablar de Sir Thomas, de no sé qué, del siglo XVI. Tenés un minuto. Y está un panel de cuatro participantes y el moderador en medio. Y te dice, you have one minute, you start now. Tenés que hablar sin repetir palabras durante un minuto. Si repetís una palabra, los otros participantes pueden decir, hey, stop. Y ellos tienen el turno para continuar sin detenerse. El que, el que hable más sin detenerse, pues obtiene el, el premio, ¿no? Y en español creo que es lo otro. Ok, guys. Fue un gusto realmente estar con ustedes. Eh, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta, alguna duda, inquietud. Yo nada más quería comentarles también que una de las cosas que hago mucho es este, ver películas en inglés con la traducción para la pronunciación, a mí me ha ayudado mucho. Yeah, quiso decir Sandra con los subtítulos en inglés. En inglés. Sí. ¿Qué dije yo, teacher? Con la no, traducción. En español. Ah, sí, eso. Oh. Subtítulos. ¿Subtítulos? Sí, eso. Subtítulos, eso era. Les voy a enviar dos links ahora en la noche, ¿ok? Para que ustedes puedan 
practicar. Uno es un index, un índice de... Ahí sin discriminar, denle clic a los temas. Le van a dar clic a un tema, y luego a un subtema que le va a aparecer un listado de subtemas. Luego le va a aparecer un audio al que le pueden dar clic. Y mientras que escuchan, le va a aparecer el script. Todo lo que está del audio ahí aparece. Entonces, van a escuchar, leer, repetir. Escuchar, leer, repetir. Que no les importe lo que hay ahí en español. ¿Ok? Y el... Okay. el otro... Hello. Una página... Ok. Sorry, yes. sorry. <risa> ya sé. Ok, ya es hora. Eh, el otro link será una aplicación con la que se volverán adictos. Si les gusta la música. Y se llama lyricstraining.com. Lyricstraining.com. Uy, esa cosa es adictiva. Pueden instalar la aplicación y ya se van a dar cuenta. Ahí les envío el link para que les instalen en el teléfono, ¿ok? Ok, thank you. Bueno, ha sido un placer. Sure. You're welcome. Good night. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.